For a long time, I wasted tons of money and didn't even realize it. I'd just buy my tri-zips, my fuel, and my sugar right off the flea market without a second thought. Then I got smart. Now, I spend millions less on gear, meds, and guns than I ever did before. And I do this with barters. Barters are one of the most underutilized tools in the game right now. Not only do they save you money, they give you access to items you might not have yet because you're not high enough level, or items that don't even sell on the flea market. It also can give you access to things that are out of stock, whether personally for you or globally. They also raise your trader rating. So even if you were one-to-one -one with the flea market, you're getting that bonus of leveling up your traders. We're going to go through each trader, and we're going to do their loyalty level 1 and loyalty level 2 barters. And this is because it's the most access for everybody. Nobody really cares about loyalty level 4 mechanic barters because you got to be level 40 to use them. These should be available to almost everybody over level 15. And hopefully when you're done with this video, you will be spending a lot less on your gear and your crafting items and anything else you need to use in Tarkov and have more of that money to do other stuff with. So diving right in uh, to proper, uh, you can sort these if you didn't know by loyalty level and then by barter. That's what these two little circular arrows are. That means it's a barter item and it'll only show those items. And at loyalty level one proper, we have two very specific. Now, again, I'm not gonna go over every barter. There might be some here you like and you use that I don't mention. It's not because they're bad. These are just, I had to have a shorter list. I would shorten the list down to the ones that are most important and affect the most people. So starting off with that, it's gonna be the F1 grenades. Not only is they available at level one when you can't buy them off the flea market and you can't buy them from proper, uh, they're items that are pretty common. You can get these ES lamps out of raid pretty easily and get yourself access to grenades. On top of that, uh, you're limited to three of these from proper right now as I'm making this video. You can only buy three of these grenades. I think I'm already bought out. We'll go look here at the regulars. Yeah, see, I've bought out my three. Uh, if I wanted more, I can go buy myself an ES lamp. Um, usually they're more expensive, but at least it gives you access. Right now ES lamps are 13, 14, but sometimes you can get them for 10, which is cheaper than buying them on the flea market, the grenades themselves on the flea market. So that's that whole dynamic of there's lots of different things these barters come into play for. The next one is the AKM. And the reason this one's real important is because of the Punisher task line that requires you to use one of these for the task. Sometimes you'll get this task unlocked before you can even buy the AKM from a trader. And we'll go look on the market, but if you wanna get a good durability one of these, I mean, you're talking 40, 50, 60,000 sometimes to buy one of these before you can buy it from a uh, proper. So it's simply three Tashunkas. You can buy these or find them in raid. You can craft them even, uh, they're not too cheap. Uh, you're getting an AKM brand new for about 30K. 100 out, 100 durability. You don't have to worry about any missing parts or anything like that. Now, loyalty level two, this barter is one that it's available at loyalty level two, which means you can get it at level 15, but you'll probably use this for the rest of the wipe, no matter how high a level you get. I certainly do. And this is this fuel barter. Now it's been difficult. They lowered the stock on them. You have to catch this at reset. I know that sucks, but you gotta set an alarm on your phone or whatever, but it's worth it. Don't buy your materials right at reset, but try to get your propanes for like 30,000, sometimes even cheaper. And then just get your fuel conditioners out of raid, hang on to them, or sometimes you can get them for like 37, 38, uh, 36,000. Let me go look here if I can click on the right button. So all in, right now, if you bought all three of those items right there that we just looked at, you're 97,000 to get yourself a uh, metal fuel tank. And I'm guessing they're selling 170 right now. Yep. I mean, even if you want to buy one from Jaeger, you know, you're spending 166,000. So you're 50, 60, 70,000 cheaper, depending on what you get your price or your parts for, for fuel. That's a big deal if you're running your hideout a lot and crafting. Now, next up, we're going to jump over to therapist loyalty level one. Some of you might roll your eyes at some of these, but others are going to find a ton of value in them. So just stick with me here. First one is Salewas. Uh, this kind of got ruined for a little bit this wipe when paids became a thing for the impact grenades, but with all the changes they've made, they've come back to making sense. You know, Salewas can cost anywhere from about 19 to 23,000 right now. Let me click on the right button. So we're talking 21, 22,000. If you look at a paid and we look at those, Boom, 17, 18, 19. I've seen these cheap as 13. So if you're looking for Salewas, uh, maybe you don't have them unlocked yet at loyalty level one, uh, you can use the paid and get yourself a Salewa, which is one of the better meds in the game. The next one is the Colic B hemostatic applicators. Now, these are don't unlock until uh, therapist level three, but even once you get level 15 and you're trying to buy these, these can get kind of pricey. They can go anywhere from eight, nine, 10,000, all the way up to 15, 17, 18,000 if you wanna run them. But the barter here is pretty handy. We'll look at screws. Right now, screws are 5,000. I've seen them as low as four, sometimes three and a half. It kind of depends on what people sell them for. So you can buy two of these, get yourself a hemostat and use one of the better ones and not just the uh, the tourniquet ones that are just one use. 
the beauty is, is once you get done with uh, one of these colics, let's say you use one, it's got a one out of three use on it. You don't even have to, uh, you don't have to use it all the way up. You can come in here and you can craft yourself a Salewa with it and have an extra med. It'll use that one out of three hemostat. So just stretching your value a little bit out of that barter. Now, the next one is for those of you that are really into crafting and really into min maxing your money. And it's this uh, Slickers barter for the Vita Juice. Now, why do you say Slickers? Well, Slickers, it's another barter we'll talk about in a little while. You can take a Slickers and barter it for a Scav Vest, and then you can use that Scav Vest to craft with or use it in your Punisher. But instead of spending, you know, Scav Vest going over from 13 to 30K, you got 8K, you can get yourself a Scav Vest here. Sometimes even cheaper because these Vita Juices will get down into the 6, 7K range. After this, uh, we'll just kind of do a quick brief overview of the quest keys. Uh, the flea market makes these pretty cheap once you get them. But if you get to these tasks and you haven't found these keys and you don't have the flea market, uh, at level one, you can trade these items um, for a director's, uh, Tarkon director's key. This is for a bunch of different tasks that you need in big red on customs. You know, two teas, four crackers, and two squashes. On top of that is the 206 key. This is for Operation Aquarius with Herpist as well. Seven pile of meds, pretty easy. You can craft the meds, you can find them in raid, but if you have bad RNG and you're not finding this key and you don't have the flea market, because these keys are pretty cheap on the flea market now, uh, you know, late wipe, but the, uh, I say late wipe, we're a month into it, uh, but it's another option here for keys. And then same thing, 303 key, you know, just more quest keys. You have options to get to them before you have the flea market and maybe having those tasks before, you know, before you're 15. Now, loyalty level two, there's two really big ones here I want to point out to people um, that they need should pay attention to. And one is the documents case. This barter is always cheaper than buying it on the market because what's the docs case going for right now? 300K? This barter with therapists, with the, the lion, the cat, and the four horses is only about 200K. 180 you're saving over 100,000 rubles doing this trade and it's even more bang for your buck if you get these out of raid yourself and they're non-found in raid or whatever the top of that is the key tool now if you prefer running those key tools are running like 700 800,000 rubles i think we'll go look here 750 770 780 no reason to buy that you should be bartering for this this barter costs anywhere from 450 to about 475,000 rubles, depending on where you get your components at. Uh, so this is absolutely the best way to get yourself a key tool aside from finding one in raid, which if you find one in raid, I would still sell it and then use the money to barter for it because then you end up ahead anyways. A little secret between those of you watching this video and me, if you can get this for less than 470,000, the barter, you can actually sell it and make money. So snipe those parts cheap and there's something you can uh, add another 20 or 30,000 to your inventory with just a barter. Now over at Skier, we're not, he's not really known for the best barters, but he does have a couple that can uh, kind of change up your gameplay and make things available to you that you might not have thought were, especially because they can be really expensive. Um, the first off is the 153. At loyalty level one, uh, you can't buy this yet with Jaeger. That's the first place you need to buy it is it with Jaeger, but you got to have loyalty level two with him to buy this. So you can get to the flea market or find these in raid. It's a Yoda key. The It's called a car key, uh, but it's te technically the folding car key. It, it, what you look at it, make sure you're not doing it with a Marin on accident. But uh, And then the Shastrokya key. These three keys will give you an MP-153. Uh, pretty good shotgun to run, pretty cheap to do it. Even if you're buying these off the flea market, it costs you about 30 grand. So sometimes it's even cheaper to do this than buying it from Jaeger or buying it off the flea market and you get 100 out of 100 and don't have to worry about missing parts. Now at two, this is kind of a, a niche or a very special barter. It's not gonna matter to a bunch of people, but if at, at loyalty level two, you can actually buy the 45 vector from uh, Skier, right? But the problem is you can't run mags. And a gun that shoots at 1100 rounds a minute and all you can buy are like little 11 round mags, I think for it or something, you know, you're, you're, you're single tapping and that just kind of why single tap with a vector. But with the barter at loyalty level two as well, you can get the mags. Now it costs somewhere between 18 and 20,000, uh, depending on how you get your components and stuff like that. But you can do six of these per reset, and then you can run the vector with the, the larger mags. And even if you run out, uh, cause I can buy them. We'll go, we'll go to the trader here. Cause I, I, you can buy them. You can't buy them to get level three mechanic anyways, which is really high level. Sometimes they're sold out on the flea market. You can't even buy them. I can buy eight off of a uh, mechanic, but maybe I run out or, you know, I go through my limit, but I lose a couple of vectors and I can't run them anymore. That gives me another option for six more. Moving over to Peacekeeper, he's kind of the same deal, but he's got some barters that are, are more valuable for more players, I should say. There's more players that these are gonna affect. And the first one's gonna be the ump barter. Now, seven of these A2607 knives, you can get them out of raid, pull them off scabs, whatever you wanna do, but they're dirt cheap to buy. And you get seven of them and you can barter yourself an ump at level one Peacekeeper. 
which is really low level to be able to buy this. This is a great gun to run at, at, at low levels. And you don't have to worry about anything fancy with the mags because he sells them. You know, it's funny that he sells the mags, but he doesn't sell the gun until I think what at two, you can buy the gun from him just straight up. Uh, but for $263 uh, right now, uh, but uh, with that barter, you can get the ump. And the other one is one that people might not pay a lot of attention to, but these day packs. When you're really low level, backpacks can be hard to come by. And while these are the same as the Burkuts and the Scav backpacks in size, they're sleek, they're dark, they don't stand out as much in, um, in Raid, and you can get them really cheap if you watch your components. DVDs get down to as cheap as like seven, 8,000. Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive now. And hard drives, you can usually get around 10, sometimes less. They're a little bit more expensive now. But if you snipe those or you happen to get them out of raid, then you can get yourself a backpack for less than 20K, which is a pretty good option for one of these when you're lower level. And this kind of lower level idea with Peacekeeper goes along at uh, loyalty level two as well. He has options for M67 grenades. You know, there's a task where you gotta turn these into proper um, and you can buy them off the market. They're not too bad, uh, but you can also get them with a barter and it depends on what Zibos are at. Sometimes Zibos are cheap enough that it makes more sense to do the barter than to buy them off the market. So you can get these uh, M67s for two Zibos, sometimes 12, 13, 14K. And then just to mention it, because maybe players don't know it's here, but there's a beta. You know, if you have a alpha, if you have a basic level account and you have an alpha container, this thing costs about a million to million two to do. Uh, less, obviously, if you get these out of, you die with a vertex in your secure container or military cable, or um, you get out of raid with a tank battery and don't know what to do with it besides sell it, uh, you can trade it for a beta. And this will give you a three by two. Um, and we'll look at it here, which is a huge deal uh, for for people with an alpha container because the only other upgrade you get after this is when you finish the Punisher task line. And it cannot take very long, especially if you're doing loot runs and you're putting stuff in your secure container for two extra slots to make up for that million rubles. So just remember that's here, a uh, little barter for those of you on standard accounts. Now, Mechanic, he's kind of the barter king in my mind. He's got the most barter. He's got tons of barters and tons of really, really important barters. A couple of ones I want to talk about here are not geared towards the gunsmith task and stuff. We'll talk about that at the end, but um, a more specific ones. The first two are going to be these M-Lock rails. Now, before you get the flea market, before you level up, it is really hard to put rails on certain attachments. These two rails will allow you to put uh, on many, many different kinds of, of attachments will allow you to put foregrips and flashlights. So at loyalty level one mechanic you, with a, a, a measuring tape and a USB, uh, you can use these to kind of kit up your guns a little bit better. At least put a flashlight on some of these foregrips uh, that you might not regularly be able to, uh, you know, like the one that skier sells at one that you can put on your, uh, your M4s, this uh, M-Lock. Uh, Magpul MOESL here, you can put those on there and have a flashlight and a foregrip finally. Along with that is this AK-74N build. We did a build guide on how to do the most meta AK-74Ns as well as a couple of budget guides. This is also a really cheap way to get the gun, the base gun to do that with. And even if you're not building meta, if you're just looking for a cheap gun, this is fantastic. Because you can actually go in and find these AK-74Ns for super cheap. Now, let me pull off some of the uh, stuff on here, but if you get down into the non-operational, which means you just got to buy a couple of parts, you can get a full up for 25,000. And if you're really into, if you're really into bargain hunting, you know, you're like one of those people that does garage sales and stuff. Sometimes you can come in here into uh, fence and find AK-74 S's in here. There's none right now. I wish I could show you one uh, that are pretty cheap. And then they, even if they're banged up, you can turn them into a brand new one. Or if you get out of raid with, I'm looking through fence here. If you get out of raid with your scav, and your scav has one of these that's like 40 out of 45 durability. You can still barter that for a brand new AK-74 and that's 100 to 100 and get rid of that worrisome, you know, uh, jamming and stuff like that, as well as get one that's got better stats, better recoil, uh, better ergo, all those kind of things. Now, Loyalty Level 2 has another one of the barters that I use probably the most, and it's this hybrid suppressor. No, it's not a meta suppressor. No, it's not the best for recoil. It's, you know, not the best for weight. None of that kind of stuff. What it is, is it's a suppressor that'll go on almost, almost every gun in the game. There's a handful that it doesn't as far as rifles and stuff are concerned. Anyways, four rams, usually less than 40K you can get the suppressor for, and it's got really good ergo stats. So I use it on sniper rifles and anything I'm using as a DMR where I care more about ergo than recoil anyways, uh, it, it works really good in those aspects. Now, along with that is this MK-16 Contract Wars uh, barter. This is kind of a new barter. Uh, it, it is a new barter. It's with 1212. It's five GP coins, which this runs anywhere from, you know, technically like 26,000, but usually they're around 30 because of the barters. But you, you will say 30,000, 35,000. So you're talking about 150 to 170,000 to get yourself 
I don't want to say a super kitted, but a kind of nice SCAR 5.56 with a good grip and a hammer scope with the delta point on it. That right there is a ton of value. Now, the hang up with this barter is you have to have energy crisis done in order to do it. So this means going to lighthouse, planting markers on lots of tanks. Your USEC, it's not too bad, but if you're bare, you usually have to kill the rogues to get in there and get this done. But it's there, it's available. I wanna point it out to you. And maybe it's something that'll make you go do that task because you can get access to this. Uh, but it's a great little barter that gives you access to some pretty good parts that at loyalty level two um, are pretty expensive because you don't have them unlocked on traders yet. Now, there is a secret barter here for those of you that are watching this video. You're going to be the only people know about it. Because you're watching the video, you're already loyalty level four with me. You're max trader rep with me. But if you give me a like and a comment to your favorite barter down in the comments below, the barter I'm going to give you is tons of more content. It shows me what you guys like, what you guys don't like, um, and really helps me get my content. So I appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll get back to the real traders instead of just me. Now, Ragman barters. Uh, I think these are some of the most used barters in the game, the ones he has. Uh, everybody's always in here bartering because there is a lot of value with them. Now, we, 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 when we came into the video with the tri-zip, so I, you kind of already know about that one. We'll talk about it, but you kind of already know a little bit about it. First one I want to mention is the Ratnik, the 6B47. You have to use this in the Punisher task line, and some people like using this helmet, period. It's, not, it's a class three that covers your ears. You can put night vision on it. It's not too bad. Now, instead of buying this thing off the flea market, which, you know, players sell them anywhere from 30 to 40,000, and even proper when you can buy it from him is 33,000, this barter only costs about 20 to 25,000 to do because it's two bleach. So you can come in here, you buy yourself two quick little bleach and see we got two there for 9,000 you can do that barter you got yourself a helmet for 18k that's cheaper than even buying the uh the ssh 68 steel helmet the other one here um we're gonna mention it just because people might not know it's here uh and it's related to another barter that you won't have but i'll bring it up because i think it's kind of a cool bar that it's here you can get this face shield for a chainlet and these chainlets are you know six seven thousand rubles you barter for that, you know, there's no limit here. And then this helmet is actually, or this face shield is actually used in a barter that's uh, loyalty level three Ragman. So it uses three of those. So you can get those for like, what? 15,000, maybe 18,000, and then your round glasses. So you can get a really cheap level four rig barter from, again, that's loyalty level three. I know that's past it, but I wanna bring it up because people might not even know it's here. Now, moving over to uh, Loyalty Level 2 Ragman. This is where there's a lot of really good stuff. And if you're wondering why you're seeing tons of players running around the MMAC, this is one of the reasons why. This is a Class 4 armor. It's uh, polyethylene, uh, which really pairs really well and has really good effective durability. And you can get it for about 50,000 rubles. We'll see here. These uh, sewing kits right now are 30, 31. And I'm not sure what rip stops at 18. So yeah, less than 50,000. You're getting yourself a Level 4 rig, armored rig, good armor. Uh, that repairs well let me get back there uh and you can do two of these per reset it's a great armor to think about now the avs rig goes back and forth it really depends on what these golden tts are going for sometimes they're cheap sometimes they're really expensive if you can get them into that 30 mid 30s range less than 40,000, this armor is a really good armor to run um, when you're lower level because it's absolutely huge you can fit tons of stuff in there you can run grizzlies uh you know it's got two four slots in it let me find it again here because uh, we'll open it up and look at it uh and it's just got a ton of space, helps with looting. Uh, and it covers your chest and your stomach. It's an armored rig, it repairs okay, not great. Uh, uh, but when you're at this stage of the game, it's one of the best armors you have access to. Now, after this is a barter that I use a ton until I get to loyalty level three Ragman, and that is the tri-zip barter. And if I'm having a bad day or I'm dying a lot, I end up using this anyways because I burned through all the tri-zips I can actually buy uh, from him on the limit. And then I got two more I can get from him here. And if, I, if I'm at that point, it's probably time to log off. If I burn through six tri-zips in a single reset, that's, that's a rough bunch of deaths. But nonetheless, it's four uh, ES lamps. And at, at loyalty level two, which means you're only level 17, this is the absolute one of the best bags you can get for your money. They're, they're slim, so they don't stand out real bad, uh, and they have plenty of space, which means more loot to make more money. But if you're gonna buy them on the flea market, they run anywhere from like 65,000 all the way up to 80, 90,000, depending on the time of day. The barter is four ES lamps. Those run 10 to 12,000. We'll see what they are right now. Uh, yeah, even cheaper. So you could get this for less than 40,000 technically, which is cheaper than buying it. But that's besides the point. The point is, is at level 17, you can get yourself a tri-zip for a lot cheaper than you can buy it on the flea market. Now you could talk about the Act Attack 2, but it's really expensive. Um, the Attack 2 stands out quite a bit and it kind of makes you a target because it kind of makes you look, people see an Attack 2 and think you're probably higher level than you are, especially at level 18. So it's kind of a, a big risk to run an Attack 2. 
Now our last trader, Jaeger, everybody's favorite masochist with his tasks and a, a food lover. I wonder if this guy's really fat or not, because he, everything he does is around food. But nonetheless, he's got some decent barters to pay attention to, even at loyalty level one. The first one's a scab vest. We talked about this already. It doesn't matter how many times I talk about this barter every year, all the time. People will still pay 22, 30. I've sold scab vests at times for over 30,000. And you can see here they are. No idea why. This barter is available to everybody. It's easy. It's a slickers bar. One bar, one vest. You can buy it off the flea market. You can craft them. You can barter for them like we talked about and save a ton of money, especially when you're doing the Punisher task line that you have to wear one of these things and you feel like you go through like 15 of them especially when you're on the Punisher task line or you are on the, what's it, uh, the setup where you gotta wear this stuff uh, and you feel like you just burned through tons of these things, that's, uh, this is the cheapest way to do it and it's gonna save you a bunch of money on that quest. Along with him here is a barter that's really handy just across the board period anyways, and that's the CMS. And I should have talked about the one on Therapist. Now that I'm here, I'm remembering that. She's got one too that's for two uh, two uh, bug sprays. So you're talking, you know, 15,000 roughly for the cost. Same thing here, three nippers. It's gonna be usually about 18,000, but yeah, you got 15 here, but they push six. So we'll say 18,000. But the thing of that is, is you can get this at level one, Jaeger, which is before you have the flea market. So this is your first really good chance at getting these things. Um, you can find these nippers all over Raid. There are toolboxes all over the place. You find these things, you keep them, and you can get yourself a CMS so you can fix black limbs in Raid before you have the flea market. You can actually buy this stuff. And then the last one's a dog tag case. And this is actually here because it's a money maker. We've all been it. You, you get your flash drive, you know, you need one more for your task, right? And you're on your way to extract and you die. And the flash drive's usually in your secure container, hopefully in a documents case. You can sell it, or you can take three of them and uh, sell them and barter it for a dog tag case to Jaeger, then take that dog tag case and sell it to therapist. She buys it for like 190,000 or 198, I don't remember exactly. Nonetheless, it's worth a lot more. And if you watch the prices on dog tag cases, these things will get down into the 60,000s, which means you can just barter, or you can buy three of them, barter it, sell the case, and boom, some free money right there. Now, these prices are really inflated right now because Intel's really expensive. Once Intel starts to get cheap again, you'll see these come down and that dog tag barter gets even more and more valuable. So just keep that in mind as the white progresses and we get a little bit later on. Now, at loyalty level two Jaeger, we have uh, one of the barters that I use quite a lot. And, I, and the other one I've been using a lot this wipe as well, just because of how long it took me to get through Tarkov Shooter, but uh, the sugar barter. This barter is absolutely gold. So what you want to do is you kind of keep an eye out on Amelia Rise. They kind of get kind of expensive, but if you're getting them for like six, seven thousand, you know, you're getting your sugar. You can do this this barter with him once a once a reset. You can get this sugar for 35, 30, 35, maybe 40,000 if you're spending a little bit more. Well, considering sugars are already starting to push 45, 50, oh my gosh, they're 50 now. They were 45 an hour ago. Uh, they're starting to climb and they're gonna continue to climb. And we usually see sugar in the 55, 60, maybe even 80K. Hard to tell, brand new wipe, new economy, but I think they're gonna continue to get more expensive. And Amelia Rise will follow them. And this gets to the point where, you know, Amelia Rise are worth 10, 12,000. Now you don't want to sell them because the flea market feet kills you on them, but they're worth taking out a raid. They're worth their 12, you know, their 12K per slot, which is a personal rule of mine, uh, because you can turn them into sugar. So if you're crafting slickers or, you know, any kind of the energy drinks, anything that uses sugar, moonshine, obviously, uh, this is a really good source for that. And then the next one is probably one of the cheapest bolt actions you can get. And it is a Deadly Slobs Beard Oil for an M700. These things sell for, you know, about 35, 36,000, sometimes 38, but it's a one-to-one -one trade for an M700 that has 100% durability. And this is my qualm with this gun. When you go look at the flea market, I have my filters set up to where they don't usually show up, you know, minimum condition of 90. So you're seeing that, but you see you're paying 51, 60,000 for 100 out of 100 until you can buy it from Peacekeeper. But if I take off the mid 90, you've got all of these in here for sale that are just junk. You don't want to shoot these because they're not accurate. So it's access to a cheap bolt action rifle to do some of those tasks for Jaeger that require bolt actions. Or if you're just somebody who likes to shoot like that, it's probably the cheapest way to get an M700. All right, well, if you've hung up with me this long, you're a trooper. I appreciate it. It's super awesome that you did it. But I got two more things we're going to talk about here real quick. First one's going to be crafting. Um, this is for the aficionados that have that love to craft. And there's a couple of barters in here I want to mention for you guys. Two of these are on therapists. The first one's the SJ-1. 
This is a good way. If you're crafting SJ6s, it, it swings back and forth constantly because it's got so many components um, and SJ, SJ1s change and SJ6s change and their components change. But when you're crafting those, always come in here and look because sometimes you can get these cheap, especially if you get out, you die in raid with a non-found in raid syringe or something. Uh, it's a really good use for it is to take, turn it into SJ1, take that SJ1 and craft it into SJ6s, two of them, and sell those and make money. Now, this is a loyalty level three barter. That's why I put it at the end, but I felt like it was worth, if anybody wanted to hang out, I felt like it was worth mentioning. The next one's a four barter, and that's ibuprofen. Uh, if you're running ibuprofens, you have four therapists, you should be using these anyways, because it's super cheap. You know, you're talking 40,000 uh, to get yourself an ibuprofen, and what are they selling for right now? 35, 40,000, sometimes they're more expensive. But later we get on, uh, ibuprofen is going to push 50, 60, 70,000, and this barter doesn't usually get much more expensive than 40, 45,000. So I use this almost all the time, unless they're cheaper like they are right now when I'm crafting my propitols, because I don't use ibuprofen, but this is a great way to get that ibuprofen for propitols. After this is the army bag. Um, it, it, a lot of people might wonder why this barter's here, because the army bag sucks. Nobody's going to use it. But for two AA batteries, um, you can get three of these things. And you need four for the craft, but you can use them to craft the uh, the raid bag. And this is the best way to get them because these things are actually kind of expensive if you look at them. You know, you go on the market, you try to buy them. Usually they're pretty expensive. Yeah. So two AA batteries. I mean, what are we talking for that? 12,000. Um, so you use those to craft your raid bag in the laboratory. Uh, we'll go down and find that here real quick and show you um, right here. So you need four of them. So you, you only get three from the barter, but handily enough, there is also another barter. Um, for the same thing with Jaeger. At level one, soap, max three here. So you can balance between those. You know, sometimes soap gets more expensive than the 12,000. What are we at now? Yeah, so right around the same thing. Make a little bit more money on that raid bag. And then the last one is gonna be mechanic, uh, again. And more specifically, the gunsmith task line. Now, if you wanna see all of these for every gunsmith, we did a whole, uh, whole series on gunsmith one through 16. And I talk about the cheapest way to build every gun using these barters, where you need to get them, what you need for them and how to do it. But I just wanna point out here that even at loyalty level one, you have barters for the mechanic task line. Uh, the B11 handguard, which doesn't matter anymore because they've changed it, you can buy it. Uh, but this plastic foregrip, as well as the elites, which you use to get the 133, long story there. And then at loyalty level two, there's absolutely a ton in here for even some of the later ones. This Asval Rotor 43 pistol grip is a milk. These things are over 100,000 usually. And oh, they're fifth, they're cheap now. So you made me a liar, but you'll see those push 100,000. I sell them there all the time, uh, but they're only a milk barter. And then you've got the 870 Magpul uh, handguard and the 870 uh, stock. Those are for uh, mechanic as well, or the task or the uh, gunsmith task line as well as the MP uh, tri-rail ring mount, the GL shock, this UTG four point, these are all for the mechanic task line. So when you're doing those, if you're not watching my videos, that's fine. Just make sure you remember that a lot of the required parts are actually for barters and you don't have to spend a bunch of money on them. Like, let's see what this is selling for. Those are selling for 40,000 versus the cheap barter of a rechargeable battery. And then this, this, this uh, the, the, the uh, stock is 80, 90,000 versus what? Two double A's and two D's. I mean, you can see where the money savings is right there. But this video, I thought this was gonna be a short video. Man, did it drag out. I appreciate everybody that hang out uh, and watch the whole thing. I hope you got a bunch of value out of it. I hope it opened your eyes up to barters. We will do more of these for like how you make money and some of the higher level ones once players kind of get into that range and it's, it's rele relevant to them. But I wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.